Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across my co-host, Alex. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, brother. How are you? Pretty good. That's I'm it? always pretty good. You're always pretty good? Always pretty good. You're always in the middle of good, mm-hmm. great, terrible, awful. Just somewhere around that four adjectives here. Yep. You're always about. But I always say, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> This is where we discuss the previous week in gaming. We gather all the news stories, break them down, and discuss. Check us out on all of our podcast services, YouTube, every Friday. That's free if you want our stuff early. All you got to do is go over to patreon.com slash easyachievers. That gives you excuses every month. That gives you our podcast early. You do a certain amount. We read your name on the podcast. And pimp your stuff, too, of course. We have a community. Once you community, you pimp your own stuff. You pimp our stuff. That's, that's how it works. If you're a free order, we don't care. We are too. Please five star us everywhere. Uh, you uh, YouTube like you know do the YouTubes like us there. Five star us on what is it? Oh yeah, uh, Apple, Google Play. I don't know. It's Give I- us five <laughs> Androids. Is that what it is, Alex? What Google no. Play? What is it? Five? It's, it's it's what? No, it's just a, it's just a review. You listen to music and stuff, and you can listen to podcasts. But like, no, I know. But like, do you oh. review it? Like how, like, how does that work? You get oh. five stars just like an Apple? I know Apple, I, you get I, five I, stars. I, I think. I don't know. I don't, so is it like five stars too? I think you... I guess, yeah. I think I'm just going to say there's five... You give us five Androids over on <laughs> Google Play. It's equivalent to five thumbs Just up. give us the top... <laughs> the top one. <laughs> Check out our socials at EVM9000 at Crazy Flip, uh, Crazy Flip Skater for Mr. Alex over there. Um, let's give a little... Let's get into the week, Alex. Big three. Yeah. Nintendo... Xbox, PlayStation announced that you will have to show your chances in loot boxes. Um, <laughs> Ninja shows porn accidentally. Not Ninja himself, but we'll get into that. And Loot Crate goes bankrupt. That's a mm. bunch of more news stories after that. But before we get into that, Alex, what have we been playing? Fire Emblem. Yes, we have. I finally jumped in. How are you liking it? I'm liking it. I didn't. Uh, for, I didn't think I was gonna like it. Okay. Because I, I didn't like, think you would either. Like, well, because I've always heard, you know, it's a very stri- strategic game. Meticulous. You know? I'm like, nah. I'm never been a strategy type game. I didn't. I, I couldn't get into Civ. I was just like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I tried it, and I, I like that they give the whole JRPG feel, like the op- free roam mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And I've always liked that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So it it, came, it 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 brought me in. What house did you pick? Do you remember Black Eagles? Black Eagles. Yeah. What made you pick Black Eagles? Any reason? Uh, so cool. first, I don't give a crap about deers. <laughs> I don't want to be a deer. The golden deer. The blue lions. Like the Hufflepuffs. Is, <laughs> first off, I'm a Hufflepuff. I like oh. my Hufflepuffs. I, I like being a honey badger. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, like rip your face off. I better say the honey badgers ain't nothing to mess with you. Mm-mm. If you want to take Frog a ride, man? if you want to take a ride, look up YouTube and Honey Badger. You watch that thing break anything it comes across. It's like it, Wolverines. You ever seen a Wolverine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey man, every t- <laughs> every time I'm in Far Cry, I have to run away from those because those yep. just come storming yep. at you. They take like eight bullets to the face. Yep, for whatever reason. But um, blue lions were cool. I just don't like the guy. I took blue lions um, just because it was blue and lions, really. Yeah, um, I just don't. And like everything them. looked cool. That is the most overpowered house. Is it really without recruiting anyone? Yes. Oh wow, I didn't know. They have like three of the best characters in the game. Oh. I'm. Do- I-, I feel like I'm doing so far. I mean. So far. It- we're yeah, getting, I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, you don't need any of these people, but yeah. uh, like I said, recruit two people. That's yeah. just a general tip for everyone. Recruit at least two people yeah. before you hit a certain point in the game. I'll try to recruit the two main ones <laughs> if I can. <laughs> there, I think there's six people you can't recruit, of course, the heads of the houses. Yeah, no. And then there are retainers, that's what it's called. Uh, for some reason, I just don't like him. The Dimitri guy? Yeah. He like rubs him. you the wrong way? I guess. Mm. Uh, which is weird because all the other people are like levels like eight and up. Him, level one. I'm like, why? Why are you level one? <laughs> what are you doing? I, yeah. What are you doing? But uh, I've been playing that. I put 10 hours in that so far. And nice. then I beat the first episode in Assassin's Creed DLC, The Fate of Atlantis. How was it? It's good. Worth it? Yes. It's a lot going on. Like, there's a, like, it's very, the very open area is like, uh, it, I, 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 am, I was, there was a part where I was just running around and I'm like, Am I not done with this? Because I didn't. It's a DLC. You didn't think it would be that big, mm-hmm. so I'm not complaining that it's too much. I was complaining that I was, or 
I guess just rectifying the point that I was like, wow, it's DLC, but there's still a lot going on. Yeah. So now I'm just going to play two and three. Yeah, I'm close to beating it. I've tried doing everything, so I'm literally doing that's everything why in I DLC that's why. before ending the game. So I'm almost done. I got probably two missions left. Yeah. I'm going to go back to mm-hmm. it. I'm just, I've am just i been knee-deep in Ultimate Alliance, Fire Emblem. I just need to go back to and Ultimate Alliance. something else I've been playing, Alex. Mm. This morning I played some Apex Legends. Oh, you know, yeah? The solo mode. Oh, yeah. how is yeah, that? That went live this morning. Man, not really this morning like afternoon around noon let me guess octanes wraiths and (laughs) (laughs) and lifelines everywhere so how is that working uh i don't not like it but it doesn't eh. need it yeah i don't think apex needs solo yeah Um, apex it would be more like of a team game well yeah because it was built around there's always going to be three people, so the ping system's really nice. Even yeah. when I was playing solo, I was like, oh, ping. I was like, oh, no. I can't there's no ping. point. There's no point in pinging now. It's just, it is not bad, but it's something like, eh, this is fine. Like, this is fine if I didn't have people to play it with. If you don't have people to play it with, yeah. I think solo is fine, of course. But I don't know. It's weird. When I started playing the game, mm-hmm. I was like, God, we need solos and duos. Now I'm like, we don't really need solos. I need duos, yeah. but not really yeah. solos. I, but I, I, I would rather, like, I would like solos duos. and duos just to have variation because right now it's just one mode. But yeah. that one mode's really good, and it's been keeping me since launch almost. almost. Yeah. I, I pieced out around season one, but it's been it's been good. I, I'm enjoying it. The skins are amazing looking, Yeah, but you have to – so you play the – you know, there's new challenges and stuff for it. Just for the solo? Yes. Okay. Well, not really. There, they, There's a lot of challenges that unlocked with the event of solos, but you don't necessarily have oh. to play solos to get okay. these things. So it's part of like, the solo event thing that's happening right now. Right. So it's not part of, the, like, the battle pass. It's right, like, yeah, they're it's separate. It's, like, completely different. Yeah, they're separate. You know so, I mean. yeah, I don't know what you So <clears throat> there's one challenge that's, like, get 50 kills. Okay. And you'll Jeez. get, yeah, it sounds like a lot, but after, you know, after a while, yeah, yeah, yeah. And once you get 50 kills, you'll be able to get what's called crowns, which is the currency for this specific event. Oh, okay. And then you can either unlock, uh, you can use crowns to unlock the specific items in the, in the specific crowns item shop because yeah. there's two different shops now. There's <laughs> okay. the regular and then and there's, there's the, the crown. There's, there's the crowns one. Now, is this a limited time thing? Just yes. For, okay. It's the 21st. That is literally off the top of my head. I think for one week it's live. I oh, think. Okay. So if it is, if that is true, I'm going to have to grind a lot because I kind of want everything. And if not, I at least want the main skins of the people. Yeah. I main lifeline. So I want the lifeline skin, obviously. You know, there's certain things I want. Now, there's 24 total things. And I'm not sure if you have to get, you get a thing per pack. Okay. But it says you have to get 24 packs. So I'm assuming you only get one item per pack, which kind of sucks if that's yeah. true. But, of course, do with the challenges. You'll slowly unlock things as you go along. Unlock this, unlock this. You'll get this person, this person. So 24 okay. total things. And it looks like you have to grind a good bit to get everything. But same with anything else. Well, I'll jump on with you tonight because I haven't played it since yet. Oh, we yeah. played last night. So Yeah, definitely. We try. I, I already got a win. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not like incredible. Like a solo win? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, know. I got it this morning. I played like... Seven now, matches, like, I think. What is it? I think I played seven matches. Okay. Like now, was it that one out with the solo? Was it uh, was was it was it stressing you out or was it one of those was no. like just random? I mean, like, I've played so much of Apex. That's good I, it was just an, it was, well, it was something. We, like, when we played last night, um, our friend was trying to. He was the last one left on our team, and he and he was trying to get him, but he kept. Uh, bobbing and weaving. Yeah, bobbing and oh, weaving. Oh, I know what you're like, talking about. Yeah, if yeah. they like, well, the, we won, have to do that. We won there too. So I mean, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Literally, uh, I I killed the the second. I killed two people at the end, and there yeah. was one person left. And yeah. I looked around and didn't see anybody. My first thought is, this pro this person is probably not good because they're hiding from hiding me. from yeah. you. So yeah. I'm just gonna see if I can find him. I just took high ground and and waited till I saw something. Yeah. He eventually runs out of whatever corner he was hiding, <laughs> and I just destroy him. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So it was fun. A lot of fun. Um. I definitely recommend doing it just because of just the skins. Try yeah. yeah, try it out. That's Get what the I want to skins if you're interested. It's still fun. Um, oh, um, I don't know if you saw them. We're not getting into the news yet, but there was some more Call of Duty uh, multiplayer trailers released. See, it feels like every week we get a new trailer, but just a heads up. There's a new trailer okay, out, cool. and it looks awesome. There's 4K footage, too, if you want to like, spoil yourself uh, so on go a look nice at. TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, let's get into the news, Alex. We're starting pretty big. All 
all three big console companies will require loot boxes to disclose odds of winning. Uh, this is over by Digital Trends by Mr. Gab Gerwin. Loot boxes have been a controversial inclusion in video games ever since they began appearing in shooters like Overwatch. But the process of opening them could be a little more transparent on consoles in the future. Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony will soon require loot boxes in games to disclose the odds of winning, which could encourage publishers to adjust the numbers. I'm sure it will. According yeah. to GamesIndustry.biz, Michael Warneck, yep. in Entertainment Software uh, Association Chief Counsel of Tech Policy, made this information public during the Federal Trade Commission's Inside the Game Workshop on August 7th. Wasn't that a lot of... Words was, and that, pronouns. Yeah, that was a, that was a <laughs> um, Warnick said the new policies on all three companies' systems would require that games share the chance of obtaining rare items. Some games have already implemented this system, uh, like on I'm sorry, not, implemented okay. systems like this on consoles, including MLB The Show 19. Doing this voluntary could be an attempt by game publishers to avoid government action being taken. A bill to be uh, a bill to ban the sale of loot boxes to miners have already been introduced with its sponsors likening the mechanic to gambling. The ease of use of playing games on consoles, mobile, and even PC seems to have encouraged players to spend real money without so much as a second thought. Is that a, is that a drop strap? Uh, you see the picture, right? Yeah. Is this a joke? So, so for is this really who, in there? So for people who can't see on this, uh, article, I'm sorry, I was just so. There's a picture of showing MLB 19, like oh, the loot thing, whatever you get, and there's a picture of a jock strap, and it says number one supporter. The so familiar get, feel of the same trusty jock strap, day in and day out, provides confidence and comfort both physically and mentally. This isn't MLB the Show 19. What? I didn't know this was a thing. This hilarious. That's first off. That's hilarious. Uh, but okay, I I don't know. That just messed me. I wasn't expecting that in this very serious article. <laughs> Not only would new games have to include this information, but games that re- uh, received updates adding loot boxes would also be required to do so. This is a release strategy we've seen from several AAA games in the past, which hold off on implementing a microtransactions until reviews have been published and the initial launch hype has passed, which is very messed up, by the way. Um, Crash Bandicoot Racing was one of those games. Where you release your game, you get all the hype, and then you release microtransactions after the fact. So reviewers do not see there are microtransactions in the game. Pretty mm-hmm. messed up. Yeah. Um, and that basically sums it up. Uh, what do you think about all this, Alex? I think I'm, nothing but good things. Yeah, same. Right? I, I, I'm glad that they're doing it just because I know what I'm paying for. <laughs> because, I mean, uh, for example, Overwatch. The loot box Prime example there? for me as well. Yeah, I mean, you don't know what you're gonna get. You randomly can get just a random, not even a skin, just like a little spray. Am I really gonna use a spray? <laughs> no. So I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to go to the loot box I, knowing my my chances I mean, of a spray are fifty yeah. percent, and everything else is five. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, if you're no. paying, I mean, honestly, I wish they would do like, uh, let's say that that costs like, a certain amount. Like Fortnite. Yeah. Okay. okay. Like we'll say, with you uh, you spend a certain amount, but you know what you're getting. I'll spend I'll spend that little more and know what I'm getting. So, mm, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm glad that they're showing it. Yeah, me too. Like, why not? Like, this seems like one of the things where it's like there is no downside. I see. Yeah. Um, of course they're gonna fuddle those numbers when they have to go live. They're oh, gonna make yeah. them look a lot better now. But um, I wish uh I wish this was sooner, honestly, because yeah. this is definitely. I wouldn't say too late, but it's it's definitely like ah, this would have been cool a year ago. But it takes time for these really big companies to make things like this, especially all three of them co-oping together to do something like this. Very cool. Um, look out for that. Uh, if I remember correctly, it is twenty twenty. Everyone has to have their um, uh, numbers in. Um, everyone signed on all major publishers just about the only one who hasn't signed on is about a handful you can look it up if you're very curious um and the only reason i think they haven't signed on yet is because they just haven't got their ducks in a row yet with their um uh legal team and all that to sign off on the thing yet. i'm sure we'll get all cooperation but the big people have activision blizzard uh um uh oh all, uh, take two all them stuff so that's great Moving on to Wired.com by a Luis Matsaki. This is how porn ended up on Ninja's 
zombie Twitch channel. This is over on Wired. Uh, anyone who visited the dormant Twitch channel of Fortnite Legend Ninja, um, this is uh, Elijah, by the way, just in case you didn't know, uh, Ninja moved from Twitch to Mixer. If you don't know Ninja, he's a very, very, very popular Fortnite streamer. Um, wins a lot of uh, tournaments, too. He's won a good bit of tournaments as well. Uh, this week's got a little... Yeah, the page, it turns out, was directing users to a live stream of hardcore porn on Sunday instead of video game battles. Ninja, also known as Tyler B- uh, Blevins, which is funny when you think that would be the other way around because that's his real name. Anyways, <laughs> understandably, wasn't happy to learn his channel was veered into not safe for work territory. He still has... 14.7 million followers on the platform. Jesus. Quote, disgusted and so sorry, he wrote on Twitter. Uh, Emmett Shear, the CEO of Twitch, apologized to Ninja specifically for the mistake the same night and said the channel streaming porn has been taken down. Jesus. <clears throat> Crazy. I wonder it was if it was an accident or if somebody <laughs> or somebody's upset I, that he left and went to exclusively to Mixer. So they're like, you know what? I'm gonna mess with you now. I, I like your tinfoil hat idea, Alex. I'm I'm with it. I don't think so. But I don't, that I would mean, be I hilarious. I mean, I don't think it happened either. Right. I just I'm. But wondering. you're like, I'm, let's I mean, get let's get mean, fun for it? a second. Because yeah. some people can be uh, excuse Petty. me, French real assholes. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I. I could, de- I mean, I could, I mean, worse, crazier things yeah. could happen, of course. I oh, could yeah, see someone yeah. doing this. I think what happened was this, they have something on um, Ninja's Twitch, if you didn't know. This isn't on any other channels, but they were using his channel to promote other streams, which is something they don't do with anyone else, mm-hmm. all, just him. <clears throat> Um, basically, it goes. It well, it's it's taken down now. His whole Twitch channel is gone now. Yeah. But it previously had the this you know this Twitch streamer is not live right now. But here's recommended channels, and they yeah. would give you a array of different channels on the on Twitch, and you could go through and click on them. And <laughs> what's funny is I kind of experienced all this in the moment. Yeah, I just got on Twi- uh, Twitter one day. That was the very first thing. Like ten minutes ago, he po- posted the video of of him saying this and i was listening to him but you know he was upset he was like you know i was trying to keep this professional i didn't say anything about twitch when i left so i i haven't brought anything up i haven't said anything about him i just you know there's been frustrating things on there and on certain things but i never said anything but now they show porn on the channel and i was like porn no way i was like i, I like ceased to believe it i was like no way they did <laughs> so that. you had to go look so i went and looked and yep there was porn on there and then not only that everyone started responding as i like looked at it, and then like you know oh, all God. the other tweets are going up like oh wow nin- <laughs> ninja's <channel's laughs> showing porn holy crap people are getting screen grabs and, and, and putting it on twitter like yeah and um i don't know if people listening have seen it but it was very much porn so i mean Hmm. you know it's not like up for interpretation porn it's very much porn um i mean if you want to wait if you want to ruin a relationship with a company there it is there it is right i mean some i mean if the company wants company yeah yeah. it's the other way around he necessarily didn't do anything no no, yeah no he didn't do nothing yeah 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 um and they were upset of course his wife were upset you know uh, on both sides people were upset um but yeah, that that's that's about it. I mean, crazy thing. One of the biggest streamers leaves. This is Twitch's way of showing. Sorry, this is Twitch's moment to show like, hey, it's cool if people leave. We don't want people to feel like they're stranded here. Yeah. So you know they could have been supportive, but if you leave, nope. we're putting porn on your thing. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks. This was their big time because oh, yeah, yeah. they're still in baby mode, even though they're a huge streamer. Like they haven't. Yeah. Uh, stream site sorry they haven't really dealt with a huge person leaving and making this big of a stink about it they like know you know react. Like, like there was a whole video about it and and and, and yeah you know, it's i don't know it's i like, i hope for changes i assume this gets changes right yeah. like you know they get a little less strict on certain things yeah all i'm all thinking this. right now is that uh mixer is the new girlfriend <laughs> and, to, and to which is the ex girlfriend that gets jealous and ex- literally just tries to like girl or boyfriend or in, this, boyfriend, in yeah, this specific yeah, yeah. instance because they're both salty AF, yeah. right? So now it's like the ex is doing mm-hmm. whatever they can just mm-hmm. to ruin the uh, ruin it, but life. like they want the attention, yeah. So, so they, like they like, do it and they're like, like, Oh, look what I did, and it's yeah, like, You just like, want right. me to look over there, and you're like, No, I don't, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> literally, just, just, just don't look at me, don't look at me. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Um, <clears throat> of course, t- apologies to, you know, 
Ninja, oh, no, sorry yeah. you had to go through that. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm sure I'm sure everyone's fine for this. Yeah. Hopefully Twitch grows up a little bit. I know they didn't specifically do this, but whoever all of this fell into like a perfect stream of making them look bad. Yeah. And I mean, because somebody has good. to take uh, responsibility for it. Right. So. Right. Of course. Um, on to a sad note, Alex. I, I hate to read this. Luke Crate oh, no. files for bankruptcy and lays off workers, but promises to ship remaining boxes. This is Jesus. over on io9 Gizmodo. Beth Elderkin is the uh, writer. Uh, Loot Crate was once the go-to company for monthly shipments of geek and gamer gear, but now its stock has run dry. The company is filing for bankruptcy and has laid off dozens of employees on top of the 150 warehouse workers who were let go last month. Jeez. Loot Crate plans to ship all remaining boxes to customers, but given how behind it already is, it seems like a tough promise to keep. <clears throat> In a press release released overnight, Loot Crate announced plans to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Reports of financial troubles have been circling for a while, including defaulting on a 21 million million loan in 2017 Whoa. even though loot crate has about 250,000 subscribers the plan is to try and sell the company with one of its investors money chest who will set the initial auction bid funneling a 10 million bankruptcy loan to keep operations afloat in the interim jesus crazy so, so we can go into a little bit in the bankruptcy filing the bankruptcy yeah. filing and overall financial woes has devastated the company's workforce last month loot crate closed its warehouses laid off 150 workers next plans to outsource to a third party logistics company an additional 50 employees were laid off last week leaving the company with just 60 full-time workers reports have since surfaced on twitter that employees weren't uh sorry the employees were let go without any severance or benefits Damn. Something Toys R Us recently faced back just for war, resulting in a $20 million severance fund for its 30,000 former oh employees. <laughs> Co-founder co Christopher da uh, Davis promised in the press release that Loot Crate's carpet should expect no changes. Daily operations will continue as usual. Unique and exciting fan items will be uh, purchased. Crates will be shipped, and all aspects of the business will go on as before the Chapter 11 filing. Our employees will continue to be paid as usual during the transaction, she said. That's a pretty hard sell, as it hasn't been business as usual at loot crate crazy alex so, so literally it says that it, they're having trouble <laughs> with their stock and sending all this stuff but now he's like oh no everything's running just fine i like it's like, like it, it, we bring this up a lot it's like the meme with the, the, the dog in the fire it's like this is fine and then there's yeah. fire all around him it's definitely i see this in the in the ceo being like no it's good yeah like he literally <laughs> says in all aspects cool of founder. the business will go on as before chapter 11 filing <laughs> what's gonna happen after <laughs> What's funny is he's like, yeah, you never want to hear the the term chapter eleven bankruptcy because God, that no. is uh, that is pretty awful. That's, That's basically yeah. you saying to, to all the people who gave you money, sorry, <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting nothing from me. Insane, sad to let it go. Do you have any specific loot crate memories? We used to do it back um, in the day. I did like two of them, but you mm -hmm. did it like every month. Yeah, so. my dad uh, bought bought me like a year yeah. subscription with it. It um, was really cool. I usually like shared the shit with you. The too, only one that, stuff. that I got and that I liked was the was um, Predator one, right? Wasn't that one? Uh, no, I actually didn't even, I don't even think I got, I the fur, only one actually Loot Crate monthly one that I got was, I think was a Halo one. Okay. Uh, everything, I've only, and then I've bought two items from the vault, which was the number one Superman comic. And uh, the Sea of Thieves towel, because uh, I think it, I had like a coupon or something, right. or I forgot I had something. I was doing birthday gifts, but other than that, never gotten anything from them. Just because I mean, crazy subscription boxes. Just it was just a crazy. little difficult. One of those things that were part of my childhood. Just and I wanted it too because I wanted to do the one they. Uh, which one is this? It? Like uh, the year one or whatever, and you get the shirt if you pay for. It. I, I said the so. monthly one. I you get the remember. year one, and you pay. It's you get a, a shirt. Time. Yeah, I would. I mean, sucks to see it go I, definitely I feel one like, of those things like Torres us where it's like i blink and it's like what happened yeah right well, yeah and technically they will still exist but they're being bought by another company and i assume the company is not keeping loot crate around they're going to probably change no, it to whatever something, something else um nerd gear it, it, or some type of thing there know. you go yeah um crazy i i wish i don't know i wish they were a little more honest because i i love how they said yeah we're doing fine but we also laid off how many was it 60 yeah, it was, they, like, it was 60 150 first plus another 50 so 200 plus so the 60 full-time workers because there's no way they're staying on right 
Well, it says le- it says right now. Right now they have the, the leaving company is sixty full time workers, so that's all they got. Maybe they'll stay, but they had, I, I find that hard to believe so they that had, all these people will stay after the the bankruptcy filing and the sell of the company. So they had two hundred and sixty workers. Yeah. So they've and gone, they've lost two hundred. They've of them. Pr- yeah, they've definitely lost two hundred of them. It, it, sad to, uh, sad to see hearts go out to everyone who got laid off. No one wants to be laid off. No one no wants God, to be fired no. either. I especially don't want to be fired when I get no severance. That's the biggest thing in this. Yeah. You take care of your workers. You don't. You don't just say, mm, "Oh well, oh well, sorry." And that's why Toys R Us guy. I think uh, didn't they say he got sued for yes, that? Yes. It yep. got, uh, yeah, he got sued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They almost got sued. I think because they got reason. backlash. I it's, think they went to sue and they were like, "Fine, we'll pay you all." No, yeah, it was a tw- it was a tw- it was a twenty million severance fine <sighs> for the twenty. It was thirty thousand uh, 30, people. Sorry, thirty thousand. Yeah. God, yikes! Yeah. Again, hearts go out to everybody affected. Sad to see it go, but that's just one of those things, yeah, right? Things. I mean, it's like, it's one of those things. I think it was like, um, it had its moment, and now it's just going to something else. Like, uh, yeah. Like, I mean, for, it, it was out. I mean, like, like for instance, I mean, it was Blockbuster. I was literally about something, to say, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Like, not like, oh, it was there. Apple the apples, but yeah, it just it was there, and now it's gone, and now yeah. we have this kind of thing to talk about to like our yeah. kids or our friends <laughs> later on. Where it's like, you remember? loot crate you know they'll be like, like what that. the hell is that what? and it's like well it's like a thing you paid for they give you a box or... all right moving on yeah right <laughs> this is over on the verge 2k games defends quote necessary actions end quote against youtuber who shared a borderlands three leaks this is by julia alexander uh video game publishers take two interactive and 2k games has re- uh, responded to allegations from popular youtube creator sup Matto, who claimed he was unfairly and excessively targeted by the companies after he posted a series of videos included leaked content from the upcoming game Borderlands 3. Quote, Take 2 and 2K take the security and confidentiality of trade secrets very seriously. A, res- uh, a res- representative yeah. told The Verge, sorry about that, uh, the action we've taken is the result of a 10 month investigation and a history of this creator prof- uh, profiting from breaking our policies, leaking confidential information and our product, and infringing our copyrights. End quote. Although this is coming up now, the situation began in April. According to a detailed testimony of events from Submatter, who is not disclosing his real name, a trailer for a Twitch extension called EchoCast, which I remember this. Um, this was when they were revealing the game. They announced EchoCast, where you could get loot while watching the Twitch stream, oh, wow. basically for the game that's coming out. That's cool. Yeah, that could be used in Borderlands 3, uh, included information for a private Twitch account that was being used to test the feature. The exposed accounts weren't discovered by Somato, he pointed out, but were posted to forum sites like Reddit. Although the channel's content wasn't viewable, thumbnails were. Somato, who covers Borderlands quite a bit on his channel, used the thumbnail to make videos about Borderlands 3. Since the thumbnails were on Twitch, some men believe they were public domain, but he then received several copyright strikes from Tukay, says YouTube's current copyright policy states that visual works such, uh, quote, such as paintings, posters, and advertisements, and quote, all constitute copyrighted content. The copyright claims came after two private investigators who he says were hired by Take-Two allegedly came to Submato's house on July 25th to discuss, quote, various things relating to the channel and the live stream that was discussed on my channel, end quote. Uh, quote, I was very tense, as many of you could imagine, having two people in suits you don't know show up at your house, end quote, <laughs> Submato said in a video. Man, Secure representative man. declined to comment on whether private investigators contracted by his parent company were indeed sent to Submato's house. Instead, 2K representative told The Verge that the company will, quote, take the necessary actions to defend against leaks and infringement on our intellectual property that not only potentially impact our business and partners, end quote. Wow. 2K. This seems super Give extra. Give us the game. We won't spoil anything. <laughs> Alex taking a firm stance of, your problem, bro. Release the game. Interesting, right? I um, I don't know. This, Like I said, this seems very extra and unnecessary. Um, I, I get they want to, you know, of course, you want a controlled PR, public relations yeah. <clears throat> talk with people, right? You want to talk about it. You you want to have control over your statements. You want to have control over gameplay. You want to have control over everything. So you can have a very strict pre-order culture that still um, is with in the game industry. Like you want that you want that stuck with everything to talk about. They want hype keeping with it, so they don't want everything released all at once. And I don't know. I don't. I don't agree with any of this. This seems again very extra. They could have just blacklisted this gentleman and yeah. just never invite him to anything ever again, and then just never talk to him. 
I know that seems like like oh whatever, but like this seems like a, not very much coming from what was this? It was a thumbnail specifically. So he found a thumbnail and then started making a video about it. Yeah, and that was enough to hire a private investigator to then go into his house. Really go to yeah, yeah knock I mean, on his door and be like, hey. Again, seems extra. Seems unnecessary. They should probably just relax a little bit and, like you said, just release the game and relax. Okay, yeah. it'd be different if this man worked with them. They paid him money, and he like takes a bunch of documents and then puts them all online. It's like, hey, I know all this, and and then like has has you know obvious paper trails and everything. That's different. This. This is this seems very little. F- I don't know. It seems like a flex, really. I mean, I feel. I, I mean, I it feel feels like, like a flex. They're like, oh, I mean, don't talk about our stuff. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if pe- if people are get, getting the advantage of getting the game early or, or like you know to not break embargo or anything, I mean, what's the high likelihood of actually them doing it? Because if they do get caught. You're, you're screwed. You right. I mean, you're not going to be able to do it again. Right, so, yeah. I mean, and it's really not like he... That chance? And again, it's not like he did that, right? It's just... Uh, he saw a screenshot embedded in the Echo Cast thing, yeah. and he talked about it for yeah. a few videos. And, and that was, was warranted enough to talk to get him? I don't know. It seems like an overreaction. I'd love uh, for a counterpoint or a counterargument. If you are listening to this and you're steaming angry, you're like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, and you're, and you're putting your fist to the sky like in the, one of those cartoons, yeah. go ahead, tweet at us. Tell us your counterpoint, and I will read it on the next episode. Would l- I always love open dialogue, especially in this community. Um, but moving on. Any lasting thoughts, Alex? No? I want the game. Okay. Moving on. Sorry, I'm eating Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids, that's what it is? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Sour Patch Kids are good. Fine. I have like a jar of candy and I just yeah. opened it. Mm-hmm. I just, it was, going, eyeball, I was eyeballing inside. it for a while. You just look over you're like, hey, what are you yep. doing over there? Yep. Ball of candy. So, I might eat you. Yep. Eurogamer. <laughs> this is over on Eurogamer by a Tom Phillips Walmart to remove signs showing violence including video games. Walmart store is still selling guns. <laughs> Walmart has told its stores to take down any signing and displays referencing violence. That is an important statement, and I'm going to get that get back to that in the end of the article. Okay, so I'm going to start over. Walmart has told its stores to take down, quote, signing and displays referencing violence, end quote, including advertising for violent video games. It comes just a week after 22 people were shot dead at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas, and another 10 people were killed in the Dayton, Ohio, mass shooting the following day. That sounded very abrupt. Sorry about that. Two people, unfortunately, were killed in uh, Dayton and El Paso. You You mean 10? I said 22 and 10, right? Didn't I? I thought you said two. Sorry. Anyway, Anyways, yeah. 22 and 10 people, unfortunately, were killed. Um, and it, 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 it came off weird in the article. Just wanted to state. Gotcha. It's an, aw- an awful thing. I don't want to make light of it. <laughs> a week before the El Paso shooting, two people died at a Walmart in northern Mississippi. Co-workers of a disgruntled Walmart employee who also shot a police officer. Jesus. A memo sent to Walmart stores this week has been circulated on Twitter and Reddit and verified by Vice. Apparently, uh, this is a tweet by a Kenneth Shepard. I won't rename his Twitter handle. Um, apparently, Walmart is telling its employees to take down displays that show violent video games, specifically shooters, as well as movies and hunting videos. And it basically shows a picture of take down these things. You need to do this, this, take all of this off. Um, the letter to store staff asked for immediate action to review any in-store materials which contain violent images or aggressive behavior. Top of the list for things to remove, video game advertising. Turn off or unplug any video game display consoles that show a demo of violent games, specifically PlayStation and Xbox units. The note reads, uh, adding to these uh, units will be updated manually within the next week. Quote, cancel any events promoting combat style or third-person shooter games that may be scheduled in electronics. Ver- uh, verify there is no movies depicting violence at are playing electronics. And then on to adverts for non-virtual guns. Turn off any hunting season videos that may be playing in sports goods and remove any monitors or displays that show the videos. Of course, Walmart sells guns, and while signs for Borderlands 3 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare may have been taken down, it'll still keep selling actual weapons. <laughs> there has been some changing in policy. Walmart spokesman Randy Hargrove told USA Today this week, quote, it's horrible what's happened, end quote. Everything else just goes into a little bit more politics. I'm going to end it there. As now, a, as I was gonna say, as unfortunate as that this is, obviously we see that they're the only people doing this with uh, taking down I the mer- merchandise, uh, gotcha. the advertising. Yes, I agree. I, and Weird. not, I mean, it's 
Well, my, now this is where they all all mm. the shooting started. So well, see, I mean, my opinion, my thing is, then uh, don't sell the guns at Walmart. So, I wanted to get to that crux, right? Where it's like take out all the violent images, but keep the guns, right? That's yeah. very weird well, and double sided. Yeah. Uh, while I was on Twitter the last few days, I have seen a bunch of people angry at this, but people were kind of stating it like it was just video game advertising that I was taken down. Um, it's not. It's all violent, yeah, period. No, yeah, anything all, that yeah, is anything violent that is being taken down. To, yeah, it, so to be fair, I think that is less worse than them saying take down all video game stuff because that's how it was being portrayed. Yeah. And that's just simply untrue, of course. Yeah, because they were saying, they were think, they were showing, or they were... Kind of, it kind of seemed like they were attacking video games, it but did. it's just all everything, everything that's violent. And I don't remember. I don't know if they re redid a statement. I don't remember. But as of right now, they have <clears> never <throat> said anything about specifically about a video game. Yeah. Because of course they still sell the video games, so they just They're brought just down all signage it. and advertisements. Um, which again, weird. They sell the video just game see, and the guns. I just anyways. don't see. There's a. Um, so, it's not gonna. I don't feel like it's gonna make a difference. Just it change, seems just like it's almost like because, like we're not walking to a Walmart and I'm like God, what do I do with the day? And I look at and I see Call of Duty. I don't go. All right, I'm gonna shoot somebody. Like yeah. it seems like a jump that doesn't necessarily need to be yeah, there. I mean, I mean, even for people who have like let's say military background, right. are they gonna look at these uh, uh, these videos and they're gonna be like flashback? And then they just gonna. Or, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm I can't speak for them, but yeah. I just don't. I don't know. You don't see it. Yeah. I, I don't know. All this seems very strange. I guess this is Walmart's intention of like, we don't know what to do, so we're just going to take down everything and just kind of like, to, just to make, shut just up. Just to do something. Because, again, I don't know. It, I, I want to get to the point that the reason this unfortunately happened at Walmart wasn't because there were ga- guns and video games there. It was because there was people there. Yeah. It had nothing to do with the ra- surrounding yeah, it's, elements it's of the It's how people sh- interact store. with each other that causes the it's problem. Be, it's because there's a... Th- all, I mean, Walmart is, I mean, at least ours, of, of course, is always filled almost. Yeah. There's always someone there buying whatever. And I think that was really the reason it was get shot out was because this gentleman wanted to kill a bunch of people, like a, a sane person. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunate, of course. Uh, I don't think it's as big a deal as it was brought on. A bunch yeah. of people were shouting wolf at this, thinking it was going to be at the beginning of the end. I don't really think that is the case at all. Um, sticking with the uh, mass shootings, ESPN postpones airing Apex Legends tournament after recent mass shootings. Uh, ESPN has postponed airing an Apex Legends tournament this weekend after the recent mass shootings in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio. ABC affiliate stations received a statement on August 6th stating that the network will not air the EXP in- Inventational. Invitational, Apex Legends at X Games. Quote, out of respect for the victims and all those impacted by the recent shootings, per esports reporter Rob Breezla. Now That's do about you, it. Now, do you agree with that one? Yes. With uh, them taking ESP. Because there's ESPN the, that does not harm it. anybody. Yeah. I don't think, like, mm-hmm. them delaying it. Because mm-hmm. it'd be different if it was a cancel. Yeah. They are postponing airing okay. the Apex Legends. I do not think there would have been anything wrong if they aired this. I don't want to make that sound like it. I find no pro. I don't think anyone would have. I don't think this would have aired, and anyone would have been like, "Jesus, EA, relax. We just had a mass shooting." I don't think anyone would have said that. But yeah. this is a giant company. Uh, sorry, it's really ESPN. It really isn't EA saying this. ESPN. No one would have been like, "Jesus, ESPN. We just had a mass shooting. You're gonna show a video game that's killing people." I don't think anyone would have said that. But yeah. If they want to be careful, whatever. <clears throat> as, long, as long as they didn't actually straight up cancel it, I don't think there's any problem. But them delaying it is unfortunate, but it was delayed to the 11th. So, I mean, it just happened. So, it wasn't delayed that far. It was like five days. Okay. Moving on. Again, another ter- uh, terrible story. Uh, this is over on IGN. Multiple sexual misconduct allegations rock the fighting game community following Evil 2019. Uh, this is by a Matt Kim again on IGN. The fighting game community is reeling today after several accusations of sexual misconduct were made against different prominent members of the community. Several allegations regarding sexual misconduct have come to light. The allegations began last night when Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player Davin Promelia Crawley Promelia Promelia, thank you, 
published a confession on Twitter. Carly admitted to two separate occasions of violating, quote, the personal boundaries of two adults through uninvited sexual content, end quote, while intoxicated under the effects of alcohol. Quote, there was never any retribution, but sexual assault doesn't just vanish from people's minds, Carly wrote, especially from the minds of the people who see me every week, who knew that every month something new popped up on the timeline while I remain unaffected. It could go, it can only go unaddressed for so long, end quote. Carly announced that he will be starting a program for alcohol and behavior therapy though he admits quote this will in no way will make up for anything i know yet continuing to do nothing will do no one any good yikes uh let's see so carly's twitter post was published hours after don yo hosey uh hosey a professional dragon ball z fighter uh, a dragon ball fighters player accused lee guilt guilt guilty hayes of unwanted sexual advances at fighting game events Hayes later admitted to having, quote, made mistakes with boundaries. There was a lot going on with regards to safety and comfort in event spaces, Hayes wrote in a tweet. I've received a lot of harassment, but I've, uh, I've also contributed to the toxic environment in my own ways. I'm sorry both to those who believed in me and also those I've affected negatively or made them not want to return to events. And these are all the tweets. You can go and read them all in uh, detail. They, there's a lot of them. Um, following these revelations, Combo Breaker, the largest final game tournament in Illinois, announced that Hayes will be barred from attending Combo Breaker LLC events until further notice. In another incident this morning, an, an acu- uh, accusation was made against Ari F. F- Flo. Flo. Flo? Is that yes. really Flo? Jesus. Wintraub, a professional Street Fighter V player, a Facebook post circulated on Twitter by a fighting game community member who goes by Musaku Tenchi. Alleged Wintrube had groped them after they awaked in a hotel room without any recollection of how they got in there. Yikes. Wintrube has pushed the, uh, back against the accusation on Twitter and has promised to issue a statement once he contacts a lawyer. I'm talking to a lawyer. I'll be putting out a statement later today. Please don't think I'm ignoring this. I promise you I am innocent, which I wrote today on Twitter. Wow. There's a lot of crap happening. Jesus. Why are people touching other people, man? Right. Only touch people when they want you to touch them. Right. Why are you being weird? A lot of people touching each other. Relax. Take that. I mean, recording a bathroom. I would love. <laughs> <laughs> I would love these uh, j- these people's ages next to them. Not because that excuses a fifteen year old groping another fifteen year old. No, God, no. I'm not saying that. I'm just curious on how old these people are. Yeah. Because there's, I do think there is a difference between a thirty year old man groping another woman and a twenty year old, or sorry, a fifteen year old groping another woman. Like, uh, yeah. There is a difference there, but I want to know the severity because. All of these things are terrible, awful, and I would hope that this stops. I assume there's some sort of culture around this that makes it okay if this many things happen. Now, th- now if these are younger kids, um, they're probably just got a bunch of hormones in their head and they just can't think straight because they're psychopathic right now and they want to bang everything. So I'm assuming that has something to do with it. Um, <clears throat> let's hope that they stop <clears throat> groping people. <laughs> right. Alex, you don't want people groping e- each other, right? Nope. I don't either. On to another awful thing. Oh God, another sixteen-year-old Fortnite world champ swatted during a stream. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you guys what happened. Basically, the gentleman, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Buka, I think his name. Uh, Buka, um, uh, someone called uh, a swat on him. So I guess they said something like, you know, he has a bomb or whatever. And the only reason he didn't get swatted, the actual SWAT team didn't come in. Um, one of the police officers that lived near him. Knew him, and he realized there was a uh, SWAT team called to his house. So he goes over, knocks on the door, and goes, "What's going on?" And he goes, "What?" And 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 they realize it's all fake, and and um uh, and leave. So basically, someone watching the stream probably called in a SWAT on him. SWAT team comes in. Luckily, this didn't end in anything horrible happening yeah. because sometimes these ends in the SWAT team breaks in, and one guy panics and shoots the other dude in the face because you know, of course, it's a tense situation. So the cop shoots somebody <clears> as soon <throat> as they walk in panicked um luckily nothing happened everything was cool he was actually streaming during it happened so what happened was he went downstairs came back up and he said holy crap the SWAT team's here they have guns <laughs> and and realized what happened jesus yikes oh i wonder if uh somebody was just trying to play a prank on him or something oh or just that definitely was what mad it is. because he won or something i'm sure it was a prank i'm sure it was someone thinking it was funny to say oh he's got a gun uh, up a home in his house yeah like really like, come on relax dude it sucks, but luckily nothing bad happened. 
Uh, unfortunately, everyone's time was wasted, but moving on. No Man's Sky Beyond trailer shows off the game's online and VR and all of its procedural splendor. This is over uh, with Eric Kane on the Forbes. No Man's Sky began its life on this earth as an overpromised, underdelivered curiosity that stirred ire and controversy, and just enough all in one to earn itself a second life thanks to the per Hello Games' willingness to put in the work and keep releasing incredible fun, sorry, incredible free updates over the next few years. The game that launched back in 2016 and the game that we have now are two entirely different beasts. When, quote, <clears throat> Beyond Update lands next week on August 14th, No Man's Sky will be transferred once again with a full-blown online gameplay and VR support on PSVR. Yeah. Did you watch the trailer? Yeah. Yeah. So you, I, I like the part want, where that guy was riding a beast or mm-hmm. whatever that was. Yeah, was you, cool. can ride, you can ride stuff. Yeah. I, I want to try the VR one, the VR thing, because it, it, tomorrow's the 14th. Yeah, release yeah. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. This is the 13th, if you didn't get context clues from all this. According to Hello Games boss Sean Murray, the update will add what's called the Nexus, a sort of social hub where you can play with friends or join with random strangers like never before. Quote, suddenly your ship that you spent 50 hours earning can now be seen by others in the Nexus. Your rare spacesuit and unique helmet can be shown off to other players. That's cool. Friends and strangers can visit the massive base you've been working on. End quote. Looks awesome. Yeah, somebody, um, while, I, while I was reading this, there was another article that came up. I can't remember where it was but somebody uh created a cyberpunkish world and it looked really cool it sounds so, awesome like, i think i remember reading the headline of that and being like oh, that's cool but not yeah. clicking on it but that seems awesome yeah it looks much more vibrant mm-hmm. and it looked like there was more unique animals that was my main pull from no man's sky it's like oh mm. cool because uh, if you remember the original thing was like you saw giant worms and like dinosaurs yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. walking around and when you actually played the game of course none of that was in there yeah see my thing was i just wanted to explore the uh, like the, the world, universe the, yeah the universe and stuff but it wasn't as fun as i would hoped but now like now it's i, I went back when they came with the new no man's sky next yeah next and that was it, it was getting a little better so now i want to try this yeah well, i definitely want to try that i definitely want to ride velociraptors or whatever the other thing was right yeah it man. looks awesome yeah um uh, moving on didn't want to spend too much time on that your gamer uh this over yeah i got on your gamer tom phillips writes nintendo switch snes controller spotted nintendo documentations have detailed an upcoming wireless and snes controller for the switch the unannounced peripheral was spotted today in a new fcc filing required for its release in the u.s by reset era user link 83 much of the documentation is confidential although we've gotten one diagram of the controller's back proportion to gaze at note the hack uh, model number used to refer to Nintendo Switch hardware and accessories. More exciting for fans, perhaps, is the release of the controller suggests that Nintendo will finally start adding SNES games to its Nintendo Online Virtual Library. <clears throat> Does it excite you at all? Do you care? Yes and no. Because, yes and no. I mean, uh, I, I didn't play a lot of any, uh, SNES games. Mm-hmm. I just only play, played a couple. Mm-hmm. But I really want Plenty game. of good games on SNES. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just really want GameCube. Even 64. Just you're just, give, you're just, just waiting for that? Just waiting. You're like, all right, no way of a CNES. I just wait another year, yep. maybe two, and I'll get my GameCube. Or, yep. sorry, Nintendo 64, and then after that, we'll get GameCube. Yep, just give me Sunshine. Give me Kirby Air Ride. Maybe. Kirby Air Ride. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Really? Yeah. We need to do a series where we just play our like old stuff old and then yeah. say if it's good. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's plenty of games I'm like, that was awesome. And then I'm playing, and I'm like, yeah, no, there was trash. Like, yeah, there was a game on a GameCube. And uh, one of my friends from high school used to play it, and it was called uh, Billy Hatchet or Billy Hatcher or whatever. What? It was like this kid, like whatever, and he had like an egg, like a like to hatch an egg. Uh-huh. I I don't know what the uh, like I don't know what it was about, but like t- I just like every time I watched him play it, I'm like, what are you playing? Like it's just random, but like I had I had to like keep watching. I don't know. All right. Yeah, <laughs> like, they had some weird games. Do you have a favorite SNES game? Mm. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, I can't think, I can't think uh, of any right now. Link to the Past is mine. Okay. Um, I love Link to the Past. Then uh, another good one is um, Super Mario RPG. It's another mm. good game that, that you should play when, yeah. if it comes out for this thing. Yeah. Moving on, it only takes five hours to beat Super Mario Odyssey blindfolded. This is over on Kotaku by an Ethan Gatch. Uh, there's a gentleman who beat Super Mario Odyssey blindfolded. <laughs> this is, um, so, the best speedrunner in the world can beat the Nintendo Switch game Super Mario Odyssey in under an hour. On Monday, it took speedrunner Katoon24 just over five. It would have been pretty bad performance if not for the fact that he was wearing a blindfold, Alex. 
His final time now, award record for beating the game while blindfolded, was 5 hours, 24 minutes, and 18 seconds. And were it not for some mistakes and bad luck, it might have even been substantially less, but the work that Katoon24 put in laid the groundwork for the speed run is in many ways just as impressive as the final product. Incredible. Jesus. This gentleman is Dutch, I think is what I said. When the Dutch beat, yeah, set out to, yeah. So, gentleman's Dutch, goes through, says, yeah, I'm just going to beat this game blindfolded. How? How did he do this? He must have. He must have beaten it, like, or done this path so many times. So they have to the, remember the path. So he has um uh, they have the video actually embedded in this, like the full video. And I'm just scrolling through. Uh, first off, it says blindfolded od- uh, Odyssey any percentage full run for world's first no breaks or peaks. So no peaking, and he didn't stop the pee, which is I think even more incredible. But it, I guess he's. Like he's not going like incredibly fast, but I guess he's just listening for everything. Yeah, and he just knows the game so where he knows where he's going. Yeah, which is incredible. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Oh my god. He probably beat this faster than I did. Unfolded. This is really cool. Hey, do you, do you ever watch speedrunning, Alex? Does that have has that ever piqued your curiosity? Uh, yes and no. I mean, I just um. I don't want. I don't like rushing through games sometimes. So I'm like, nah. Uh, I mean, I, I'll see some games where, like, let's say with the old Mario games, I'll be like, oh yeah, I want to see how fast these people can do these, these um, uh, levels games. and stuff. Yeah. Just because I mean, they can like pass, like, and jump and like, like I was like, how do you know the timing to this? Mm. But it's it's practice. Yeah. yeah. Like like they say in this article, it's uh, it's it's basically memorizing the script for a play. You just memorize the game yeah. and eventually do it. It's just crazy. Um, the wh- have you ever uh watched one, like uh, any? I think anything? I've seen maybe a couple of minutes, but I I, I like really. the I watched Final Fantasy ones mm-hmm. where people just go. go I think I watched Kingdom Hearts Final Fantasy. We get in Kingdom Hearts is yeah. when I watched. Um, was it Skyrim or Fall? I think it was Fallout Four. Yeah, it was Fallout Four. A guy beat it in an hour, I think it was, or something like that. Damn. So, and I only watched the very beginning, but essentially he gets a bucket. Mm-hmm. He goes to this wall, looks down, and jumps, and eventually that gets him into like the through the wall into another space where he can go and basically beat the game. That's weird. Super weird. Super weird. Remember the um, and the guy goes, "How did you figure that out?" And he just and he just goes. You just kind of have to do stuff until something works. And I'm like, did you just grab things and jump and see what would yeah, happen? Yeah, like how long did it take you? Like how, how, how much time did you waste <laughs> jumping on a bucket? I mean, hey. I mean, maybe it's not a waste. I mean, you remember, you that, um, remember that Halo 3 glitch where you, uh, you go to Valhalla and you got to go you know, up the thing, a, jump. Halo 2, right? No, it was 3. 3? Okay. Yeah, and you jump. Uh, you have to like grab the... Um, you gotta go like around that uh, right before you go like go like inside. Right. You gotta jump with the ghost, climb off of it, go all the way to the top, and then when you kind of like fall to the edge, you're like floating, and then uh, you can skip all the way to where the scarab pops uh, up. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? yeah, yeah. You showed me this. Yeah. I remember this. this it's was like it's years so, ago. Yeah, like it works, mm-hmm. but it's like the enemies don't pop up unless you go back. Yeah. Words, and then you go back forward. Yeah, because they have the spawn point. That's yeah. awesome. I- it, that was always fun doing yeah. little stuff Just that random could break stuff the like game. That. Yeah, because there was one on Halo Two as well. Like, yeah, yeah, I remember that one specifically because yeah. you showed me that when I was like, when we first met, and you're yeah. like, "Yeah, let's do this thing real quick." And I was like, "What?" And and you jumped on something. Yeah. and we got to the very top, and we had to crouch walk across this. Yeah, thing. yeah. And you were like, "Look, the people would still spawn, but they wouldn't do anything because yeah. they don't see you." And it was awesome. Yeah. Um. Uh. Moving on. Uh. Incredible shout out to Katon Twenty Four. Incredible. Yeah, um, Jesus. Yeah, I, I do want to watch uh, an actual like speed run, not the blindfolded one, but no. an actual speed run to just see like what they do. Um, but moving on to uh, Alex, bust out your Pokemon cards because someone oh, might be man. worth some money. Original Pokemon card set sells for over a hundred thousand dollars. This is over on IGN by uh, Joshua Yule. Shout out to the subtitle. Got to cash them all That's in. That's funny. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, you know that dusty box of old Pokemon cards you have in your parents' basement that you plan on one day cashing in for an insane amount of money? Well, here's a little motivation. I should go check out how much they're worth. Someone just sold a mint condition collection for a cool one hundred and seven thousand and ten dollars. Last weekend, for a couple set of a hundred and three first edition base set Pokemon cards, were sold on golden auctions for six figures. And yes, that includes the coveted. First edition holographic Charizard. That's like the biggest one. Yeah. 
for people is the <clears throat> first edition holographic charger. That's like the biggest one for people. What sets this collection apart from one in your dinged up middle school binder is how they were kept in perfect condition. Every card was graded to be in gem mint 10 condition. Alex, you know what gem mint 10 condition is? No. I don't either. According to TMC, who first reported on the insane Pokemon act- uh, auction sale, it's extremely rare for a card to receive a perfect gem mint rating because even fresh out the booster pack could have minor defects that diminish the quality, like uneven color printing or little white chips on the borders. So it's truly a remarkable feat to it and have an entire collection of the first English Pokemon set from all the way back in 1999. Alex, what were you doing in 1999? I was five. But what were you doing? Do you not hear the question? Um, watching Harry Potter. Mm. Actually, not even watching Harry Potter. Harry yeah, Potter came out in 2001. 2001, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember that Duck far. Tales or something? Ooh. I was three. So I was probably watching Little Bear. Remember Little Bear? Oh, yeah. Franklin? Hey, it's hey, Franklin. Franklin. Ding, 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 ding. No, I don't remember. I don't remember. Any, I mean, I remember that year I went to Cuba just to uh, visit family. Mm. Other than that. Did no. uh, did uh, did the guy capture you? I, I mean, I would hope not. Mm. Then I don't know who you would talk to Are you a to spy? Right I'm, I'm, oh, God, you found me out. <laughs> He just runs. Yep. Uh, this is yet another report of old Pokemon cards selling for a job dropping money back in August 2018. An unopened booster pack of Pokemon base set sold for $56,000. Wow. So just an unopened pack of uh, booster. Oh, it's a box. Sorry. It's a whole box. I thought it was just a pack. No, a full box when did this of box the base co- set. When did this box come out? Booster pack of the base set. So 1999. Oh, of the base set. Okay. Yeah, base set. I, I, I so just the saying. original yeah. sale of the cards. Okay, okay. Jesus, oh. I don't. I don't have any Pokemon cards. I was never into it like that. I got Yu Gi Oh. I have Pokemon cards too, but I, I just don't have ain't any. worth garbage. I know that. No. Yeah, and no, I tried to sell my Yu Gi Oh cards once, and I thought I had one that was like worth your Yu Gi Oh cards. I, I had some, some okay. are mine. Some of them. Some of them were mine. Remember? They, they some. Mo- some. 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 Most of them. Are most yours. of them are mine. No, the one that I had was mine. Yeah. But no, I thought it was like worth thirty bucks. No. And the guy didn't even want it. Nope. The guy was like, for the whole, for all three tens, he was like ten dollars. I was like, no, 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 no. no. Alex, we're gonna get in some crazy collectors editions, and I want you to tell me if any of these are worth it. No. And do you know the prices yet? I, I skimmed through the price, okay. and I saw. I okay, saw, no, 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 okay. Yeah. So I, I want you to get it. prices right. Okay. All right. You need to get closest to the figure without going over. Okay. I'm gonna tell you the uh, the details of the collectors edition. All right. And you're gonna have to tell me how much it costs. All right. Okay. So I'm, give me, I'm not gonna look. Give me okay. So this is a uh, Bio Mutant. Okay. It's called the Atomic Edition. Okay. It was just recently announced. It includes okay. a high detail diorama, okay. 23 inches long, 25 centimeters width. Or sorry, 10 inches width, right. and 12 uh, height. Right. So pretty big. It's pretty right? big. Pretty, pretty big. big. Yeah. This is about like that big. Pretty, I mean, it's okay. pretty big. All right. Uh, the game. A steel book, uh-huh. an L slash XL t-shirt, I guess you get to pick, an oversized mouse pad, uh-huh. artwork on the fabric A1 size. So the mouse pad is A1 size, and it's a huge mouse pad. Oh, okay. About yay big. Uh, for got, some reason, when you said A1, my mind was thinking A1, A1 steak sauce. sauce. Yeah. Comes with A1 steak sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Retail price, $5. <laughs> Biomutant soundtrack in a premium box. Alex, how much is that? A twenty three hey. long diorama. Quote diorama. That I've seen I've I've diorama. seen I've seen uh, collector editions mm-hmm. for less or no, you get word for more for, for like a lot more than I'm thinking and mm-hmm. you get less. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna say like three fifty. Three fifty maybe four. Is that your final offer? I'm gonna stick with my four. So you're gonna say what? Because that's a lot. Three so three fifty? Is what you're saying? I'm gonna say four. You say four hundred? Yeah, four hundred bucks. Alex, you're right on the money. Is it really? Four hundred dollars. Oh my god! For the Bio Mutant Collector's Edition, it is four hundred dollars. Alex, isn't that the kind of thing you just buy when you have too much money, or you just need to burn some? Not even. It would be different. I I would excuse this if it was maybe 
the third game in a series and you're really hyped about it and you're like, yeah, I really want this. You know, I, I'll buy it, 400 bucks, whatever. I really love the series. This is the first game in the Biomutant franchise. I haven't even <laughs> watched I think I've watched the trailer once and I don't even remember it. So I don't, I don't even know, know if I'm hyped is. for it. I just know there's yeah. a squirrel on the cover. Yeah, that's, now, Alex, yeah. we're going to stick with this game. We're going to call it Guess That Collector's Edition. Oh, shh. And it's the same thing. You have to guess the price. So guess that all price. Right, so right, we're going to say right. guess that price. Let's call it right, that. Okay. Guess that price. This is Destroy All Humans. You love Destroy All Humans. Oh, I love Destroy All Humans. Um, we're going to go with... So this is the game for the... Or we're sticking with Biomune? No, no, no. We're done with Biomune. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. We're okay. going so, to so Destroy All the, Humans. Okay. Got it. Um, we're going to go to Destroy All Humans, and we're going to go through the Collector's Edition. Does it Collector's Edition for this? Oh, is this for like the remaster that they announced? Yes. Oh, damn. I might have to get this. Okay. Not if so, it's like not if it's like expensive. Let's see if it's expensive because technically this doesn't tell me the price. So I'm gonna fill time real quick and look up the collector's okay. edition. Yeah, if anybody but, ever played Destroy Humans, it's pretty fun. I yeah. mean, you're an alien, take out people's brains. You it's, could, isn't it almost like Grand Theft Auto, but you're an alien? Yeah, it's Grand Theft Auto, but more cartoony, and you're an alien, but you can't really uh, take over like people's cars running around. I mean, you can just hover around, uh, hover around, and just like shoot people. I, I enjoyed it just because I thought I was just always, I, I liked aliens, and I was a kid, and I was like, oh, cool, I'm an alien. Did you do that noise? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. I got it. Up. Okay, you ready? All right. Well, this is called the Destroy All Humans Crypto 137 Edition. All right. This contains a backpack Oh, I'm of the well, game's it, protagonist. It has his backpack? So it's him. No. Oh. It's Crypto. Ugh. As your backpack looks I want, weird. I want his lie. backpack. He a has like a sixty cool backpack. centimeter statue of crypto. Sixty centimeter statue, isn't that a keychain? Okay, that's twenty three inches, by the way. Okay, thank you. Um, a keychain, six lithographs, don't, an don't, eye yeah. popping anti stress squeeze toy. It looks pretty adorable. <laughs> okay, a large premium box. For some reason, premiums in quotes and bolded, and in game skins for crypto. Uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it, it. Yep, that's it. Keychain. So keychain. We got a bag of the man himself. And I'll tell you, the statue is him with a gun and holding the planet. I'll tell you that just for fun. How big is the statue again? Twenty three inches. inches. So Tall? that's two feet. Just so about like, two feet. All right. So that's a foot. So that thing's about this big. <laughs> Nine, I don't think that's like three. That's pretty. Foot. Um, that's pretty fucking big. Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Is that your final offer? Yeah. Alex, you're close. What is it? Four hundred as well. What? This is also four hundred dollars. THQ Nordic is gonna make their money back. Guess what? <laughs> I'm not buying that. <laughs> the game is like in, forty dollars. I'm not doing it. Insane. <laughs> they they basically announced these back to back where it's like collectors make four hundred dollars. I couldn't even rationalize a four hundred dollar payment on very few things, aside from maybe a TV. But I mean, one game is really hard for my brain to be like, yeah, that's cool. That's I mean, I'm glad I didn't have to pay that for my Kingdom Hearts Pro edition, the pre, uh, the PS4 Pro. I well, had to. I, mean, I just tried. Right? Yeah, it was 400. But you got it with like down with credit and all that. Yeah, that because I traded in my old Pro. Yeah. So I mean, but Same. I, that's the only thing I could think of spending that much on. I mean, yeah, I've spent it on systems, of course, but not actually like. God no, no. Yeah, I mean, the most I've spent on a collector's edition is um. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I think one fifty. Oh wait, no, I didn't buy that. Yeah, I was about to say I don't even think I've ever bought a collector's edition it. that's expensive because my I've gotten ones that were like on it's on I don't like, think I like have on either, sale. Actually. Oh wait, no, I bought God of Wars, but that was that, on sale see, for yeah, like see, forty dollars. Yeah, mine was on sale for forty dollars. That's how I got it after a while. But uh, like a bit like I've never I don't think I've ever bought a collector's edition like wow, the, like or like day one. I'm actually I don't think surprised. I've ever I thought I have like I, I don't almost think bought I have, actually I almost bought Days Gone. Uh, collector's edition day one but then i decided not to and then i had a friend who gave me the statue anyway so i was like cool other than that i don't think i've ever bought a collector's edition if kingdom hearts would have came with one it did technically but it wasn't though it, it was it just was, bundled no, with it, some no, figures it wasn't <laughs> if, you're like no i don't don't you dare no but nope not buying that <laughs> that rounds out the news for the week we're gonna get into our topic you ready for the topic alex God, go for it. So the point of these, it's going to be about, there's 50 questions in total. We're not going through them all. But they're rapid fire questions, and no, you're, sure. supposed to, you're supposed to empty your mind 
and say the first thing that comes to your head when I ask you the question. I'm also going to ask uh, answer right. the question. If you take a little long, I'll answer it first. But I'm expecting you to go first. So okay? how do I? What do this I is win? over on Level Skip, by the way. If you guys want to know, it's called Fifty Fun Questions About Video Games. To ask your friends. All right. And you're my friend, Alex. All right. <laughs> Am I only your friend? No, we're not best friends. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. All right. Wow. Question number one. Okay. What's your favorite game of all time? Game of Hearts. There you go. God of War. Fuck. That's it's hard to think about. What's a game that you thought you'd like but actually hated? Thor. <laughs> Thor. <laughs> Same thing for me. Thor. If you guys don't know, Thor, the they oh, made the a, they made a, a movie game, game, and that was terrible. Yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. Terrible. What's a really popular game everyone seems to love, but you just don't like? Uh, rock. I don't know. You don't know Rocket League. Okay, yeah, there you go. I just can't. Can you get just don't it? like it? Yeah, that's a perfect, it, perfect yeah. example. Um, I'll say uh, 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 League of Legends. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Um, what's a game you didn't expect to enjoy but ended up liking? The, the, what? 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 What's a game that you uh, didn't, I didn't expect, expect to, to like, like but you ended up liking it? Um, the the new, the new Fire Emblem. Yeah, yep. there you go. Um, for me, back in the day, like Bioshock, because mm, it's scary. Yeah, yeah. Didn't think I'd like it. Yeah, Loved you're it. like, nope. <laughs> Um, what game have you spent the most amount of hours on? What game have you spent the most amount of hours on? Ooh, like ever? Yep. Oh. Out of all games you've ever played, what's the one game you think you have racked up the most hours? If you Kingdom, don't know for sure, just Kingdom, guess. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, two. Two. Yeah. For me, it'd be in between Kingdom Hearts 2, Mass Effect. One oh, of those, yeah. and I'm not sure. Yeah, honestly. Mass Effect 3 I played a lot of, but Kingdom Hearts 2, I've always just keep replaying that every couple of years. I think it's Mass Effect for me, honestly. Yeah. Mass Effect 2 specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, if you had to marry the last video game character you played, who would it be? Oh, God. It would be Byleth, right? Isn't that the last game you played? Fire Emblem guy? What? What are you talking about? The, 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 the main character in Fire Emblem. The, the guy w- you are. Oh. Yeah. He has a name? Yeah, Byleth. I don't know he had a name. Well, I thought he yeah. was my name. Oh, you get to change it, yeah. So you probably changed oh, it. Oh, I changed it to Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just, about me. I just kept by it. <laughs> so it says it says who, that you would Let's mar- skip that. Okay, that, was, that was Let's weird. just say, who would if you had to marry a video game character, who would you marry? I don't know. L- Liara for me. Uh, Miranda, right? Wouldn't that be you? Yeah. For Mass Effect? Yeah. That's what I would think you would say. Yeah. Uh, if you had a, I don't like that. If you had to live in a world of a video game, what would you live in? If you have to live in a world in a mm. video game, what would you live in? This is hard. Uh, Mass Effect. See, I was going to say Mass Effect, but then the Reapers come and I'd probably die. So I was that, in between Dragon Age and Kingdom Hearts, that, and I'd that, probably yeah, go Kingdom Hearts because it's all it's, jolly all, Disney yeah, World. That's, I thought about that because at first I was going to go with God of War. And I'm like, no. I'm going to say Pokemon. Oh, that's a good capture Pokemon. That's a good one. Yeah, I just to, finished like, watching Detective Pikachu, and I was like, I want to be in that world. It's like so it? cool. Yeah, I liked it. It was good. Yeah, it was fun. Ugh, this is an easy one. Have you ever pretended to be sick to get out of something so you could play a video game? Yes. <laughs> Me too. God. Every week. amount of times. <laughs> every week. <laughs> every day. Every day. I'm always sick. Uh, what is the last game you fully completed? Fully completed? Oh, crap. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. Yep. What game did you want to play next? What's the uh, game right now when I ask you, what do you want to play next? Does it uh, have to be out? Oh, it doesn't have to be out? No, no. Just whatever. Oh, yeah. Good point. Head. Okay, good point. Uh, Control. Control. I want to try that out. Control. Yeah. Uh, in your opinion, what's the best game console? That's a hard question. Hard question. You said, uh, repeat what the question? Is, in your opinion, yeah. what is the best video game console? Period. What is the best video game console? What is your favorite best video game console? What is the best one for you? PS2, PS1, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One. What is it, Alex? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Xbox One. PS4. Yeah. Yeah, PS4. Yeah, I'm saying Xbox One just because I can play three generations of Xbox games that I really like. It's really hard. It'd be between it, PS4 it, and Xbox yeah. One. Yeah. For me. Yeah. PS2 and, has a lot of heavy hitters, but if we're in getting ports, I can play just about yeah. everything on Xbox One. Because I was about to say now. PSP, but I'm like, I didn't play it as, I'm like, like, there's some good games on there. But Shout out to PSP because if you know why PSP is the best video game console, then you know why. Yeah. You know why? Because mm. you can hack the shit out of it. Yeah, man. <laughs> They're moms, though. Yep. Uh, <laughs> this is just a funny one. Okay. Are PC gamers really superior to console players? No. <laughs> What's your opinion on Fortnite? 
It's fun. Yeah, it's a weird one. Have you ever watched a Twitch stream? Yes. Have you ever streamed yourself on Twitch or YouTube? Not on YouTube. Twi- uh, Bing- Mixer. Me. Uh, uh, I was on Mixer once. Everything Alex just said is the exact same for me. <laughs> uh, have you ever used a walkthrough? Of course. Yes. Yeah. What's the best weapon you've ever used in a game? What is the best weapon you've ever used in a video game? Oh, God. A silence DMP. Uh, a uh, Leviathan Axe from God of War. Damn you, I keep forgetting these <laughs> things. I'm thinking weapons, I'm thinking old guns. <laughs> now, to be fair, I've had time to think. I hate you, that's why I Have you that. ever had to stop playing a game because it was too scary? Yes. Which one? Um, fear, it was right? Fear, yeah. Fear 1? Yes. Same for me. Fear one. I God, it was. such a good game. Actually, no. So, uh, Bioshock. Because as a kid, I couldn't get past the first part. The first part where so he had scared. to jump it on you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, this is an easy one. Has a game storyline ever made you cry? God, yes. Me too. Um, my very first one I remember having a specific emotion to was Walking Dead Season 1. Yes. And then... Hashtag rip, uh, like Rest lovely. in peace, Lee. Yeah, rest in peace, Lee. Uh, what's your favorite fighting class, warrior, mage, or rogue? Rogue. Rogue? Why? It's between Rogue and, and uh, Warrior. Warrior? Yeah. Why Rogue? Just because I, I, I like... You like being stealthy. I like dual blades and then like, occasionally dual blades, yeah. bow. Shout out to dual blades. Yeah. Um, mage. I just always like to mage and yeah. spelling. I'm almost always a mage in, in, in a... Yeah, I'm usually either Rogue or a Knight. What's your favorite game genre? RPG. Uh, Which is ooh. crazy because before I met RPGs you, I did well. not like RPGs. I didn't yeah. know what they were. I actually introduced you to RPGs. That's yeah. a fun story we should give on Patreon one day. Yeah. Um, RPGs for me as well, uh, a very, very close second as a third-person action or uh, adventure game. Uncharted. God of War, oh, things that, like that. Yeah, okay, very well, close second, but okay, I'd have to pick yeah. RPGs over everything yeah. because that includes Suikoden, and that includes mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts, that includes Mass Effect. Well, see, okay, Kingdom Hearts is technically considered a JRPG. So yeah, but it's, it's still an RPG. Yeah, but it's still an RPG, right? So like everything. I mean, anything that you can change your your uh, loadouts and level, and there's some level systems. It's an RPG. Yeah. Do you prefer multiplayer games or do you go solo? Solo, solo, because I can actually and uh you know connect with pace. the story. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Do you prefer co-op or player versus player? Uh, co-op. Co-op as well. Uh, what is your favorite console you've ever owned? Is that the same question as before? Uh, I think it's the same thing. Xbox One? Yeah. My favorite console I've ever owned is probably Xbox One as well. I would have said GameCube for a while, but I just like I love that yeah, I can play so many different games on the yeah. Xbox. What or who got you into video games in the first place? Is there a specific thing or person that got you into video games? Do you remember what got you into video games? Uh, actually, no. I think it was just I just you just asked I just, for a video game once. Yeah, I just asked for one, and Didn't I was your like, Mima "Get you." Something? Yeah, my grandma. Um, my grandma got me, or I was already in the video games, but she got me Halo Three. So she helped. Yeah, she helped because she I got see. me Halo Three, and I thought it was looked so cool. And she got me Halo Three before I even had the system, and she we went that day and got the system. That's so cool. That's yeah. such a good story. Yeah. Um, mine is uh, my vi- my my dad. Yeah. My dad got me in all my video games. Yeah. He just played, and I watched him, and, I, you know, of course, you get into it that way. Um, what is the longest amount of time you have sat playing a game nonstop? Nonstop? 14 hours. 14, 15, 16. Now, I'm wait, in that, like, now okay, does it include, like, you know, going to the bathroom? Is that okay? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I'm saying nonstop, like, you didn't sleep. Oh, you no, didn't yeah, yeah. go and, and go no, do there something was, else. Um, Pee breaks are fine. Yeah, no, I, I got home from school once. Started uh, Batman Arkham uh, Arkham City, like when it came out, right after school, play, and then played it all night till the next morning, and nonstop, and I just beat it all night. So this is one of those where it's kind of weird. It's the uh, re- I'm gonna m- mix it up a little bit, but it says if video games didn't exist anymore, what would you do? What I'm gonna ask you, Alex, if video games didn't exist anymore, what would become your primary source of entertainment? TV, comic books. You know, uh, TV. movies, uh, TV, TV. So not movies, video, comics. Uh, well, so uh, movies I mean, specifically. Yeah, Sorry, TV. Specifically. Yeah, if I had to choose, I would say TV, just because uh, like I like the shows and I can binge watch so many shows. But like, um, because I've like that's what I did like the last week when I had no other games to I had no games to play. I just could not. I was not yeah. in the mood. So I binge watched like three shows just because I mean I just like sitting there and just like being in that world because that's another version of video games to me even though I just can't experience it myself yeah, yeah. so for me it would be reading yeah. specifically comic books and, and books um, yeah will probably be my primary and secondary would probably be TV and movies and stuff yeah. like that um, what is your favorite song from a game you don't have to know the actual title but what is your favorite oh, song from a game favorite song mm-hmm. oh god the one uh, in my head is is like for you 
I would say for you, Halo Three theme, right? For <sighs> you specifically, there's one that I can't, th- I, I can, I can't think of, but I like, I was like, I, I love it. I just can't think of what it is. I feel like it's, ugh, God, no, I don't know. Skip. I can't think of anything. Um, for me, it's it's close between the God of War, like I, I, cause I, yeah, I was thinking God of, I was thinking God of War, but there's something in my head specifically that I'm thinking of the Fire Emblem battle music mm-hmm. that is in the most recent one. That yeah. one's just something about it so satisfying to me. Yeah, and then um, Kingdom Hearts, dearly beloved, probably it's my uh, all time okay. favorite. Dearly beloved yeah. or Passion or any of that. Um, I did really like the soundtrack to Days Gone. I don't know why. Um, and then uh, Red Dead. I love yes. I love the music. Very good. Very good. Uh, I, I heard that uh, they actually added the whole soundtrack on Spotify, which is awesome. Because I think, actually, I love yes, the, that the is music awesome. on Red Dead. Uh, I already asked you that question myself. What are we going to do? What video game character do you wish you were more like? Is there a specific video game character you're like, God, I wish I was a little more like him? Kind of aspire to be? Um, My cheating answer would be Superman. Uh, yeah, that's it's kind of a cheat. So I would yeah. say probably. Uh, I'm gonna say Nathan Drake. I'll say Nathan Drake as well. Probably Commander Just, Shepard would be closer, mm-hmm. but Shepard is me. So like, yeah, get kind of. I'm gonna say Nate, uh, cause just cause he uh, the knowledge he knows about all that stuff and that's being really able cool. to go and do all that stuff, it's so uh, it's so awesome. What's a game you've spent the most amount of money on? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Because the amount of times I've bought that game, if that counts. <sighs> It'd be between Kingdom Hearts and or Halo. So it has to be a specific game. So you would say like oh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, oh would okay. Probably be it. Uh, gosh, okay. Hearthstone probably for me. Because I've played that for six years now, I think. Oh, well, I would have to say Fortnite <laughs> then. Because, uh, would it really be Fortnite for you? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, if you buy the Battle Pass every season, yeah. I mean, for you, if you get Rebecca the Battle Pass every yeah. season, I got... That would be cl- Fortnite and Hearthstone are very close. Yeah, I, so I, I, I must say why. Fortnite, because just uh, the most money that I've spent there, yeah. This is a good one. If you could have it, one power of any video game character, what would it be? And who would it be? A power, you yeah. said? Mm-hmm. Mm. What's a power you think they Um. Oh, cool. uh, God. You know in Sunset Overdrive... How you can grind and all that stuff mm-hmm. and like no fall damage. Mm-hmm. That that that's, I don't know that's why. That's a cool power. I, I just love that you can do no, that. Yeah, just you can run do that. and just grind on anything. That's so awesome. The game's not out yet, but control, uh, like just telekinesis. Yeah. But if I can't pick that, it would probably be um. Because it was either it was like either, if magic counts. I don't know if magic yeah. counts, but that's a power, right? Because so it was either like, that or the time travel thing, like from Quantum Break. That was pretty cool. Mm. That stuff was pretty cool. I always wanted to air, water, fire bend. You know, from Avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those would be cool too. Um, this isn't, that's not a good one. Um, Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Xbox for me as well. What are you hoping for at the next E3? One, one, one answer. Uh, what's, the, what's the biggest Halo thing you're hoping for? Halo Infinite, or, oh no, we got a release date. It's the, the, that's the launch day, right? Yeah. Um, the Kingdom Hearts on Xbox. Like, the, all the old ones. The Same. old ones. Yeah. Same for me. Um, if I need to pick a different one, uh, Sweet Kid in Collection coming out for Xbox. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Skate Four. There we yeah, go. Just a new skate. Yeah. I'd rather have that. Yep. Uh, who's your favorite villain from a video game and why? Oh, favorite villain? Mm-hmm. Ooh, God. There's a lot of cheating ones like Those, that's Joker hard. from Batman um, games. That would be a good one. Yeah, but, yeah that, that 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 that's um, that, that's a little hard. Uh, I'm gonna say because I don't know if that counts as it because. Uh, cause I don't know, he could be different people, but Xehanort, yeah, just cause how I mean, crazy, how crazy his story could be, and like, like how, how so much crap going on. It's cool. He's cool. Yeah, uh, I still don't understand his story, villain. but it's cool. <laughs> my favorite villain. Come on, I don't know, man. It's a hard one. Yeah, man. I always, um, I always felt for. What is his name? Oh, I don't remember. Because I, I, I'm same way. I, I feel like I'm thinking Sweet of someone. Sweet Five. There's is a villain. The villain in that, not the main villain, but the main villain, the son. Mm. I kind of feel for because it's like he, he's been raised by this absolute awful villain dude, and he almost doesn't want to do the things he does, but he does yeah. it because he knows he needs to further his line. And then even when he dies, he he goes like, "Hey, if you can do me a favor, take care of, yeah. of your sister for me." Like I, I do still care for her, or whatever. That's probably one of them. I just go. I just say it just just because. Um, 
and nothing else really th- jumps out of me. So I have trouble saying a favorite villain. Yeah, it's re- it, that one's really hard. What is your favorite game from your childhood? From childhood? Kingdom Hearts. Right? Uh, w- yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Are there any games you're really bad at? Yes. Um, for me, it's MOBAs. MOBAs? Any MOBA. Yeah. Can't play it. I mean, I love League of Legends, but, uh, yeah, I, do, I mean. Is there a game you're really say, bad at? Are you saying, like, uh, bad as in you just can't play it? Or you just you, can't play it. You, you just like, don't you feel just... like you're good at it. For me, MOBAs, whenever I play MOBA, just don't know how to play Oh, it. God. Smite. There's... Every time I've played Dragon yeah, Smite, I, I just can't play. my ass I can, Yeah, I can't play Smite for crap. Mm. Yeah, Smite. Have you ever seen somebody get really angry when they lose? Yes. Dumb question. Yeah, that was Do you dumb. get ever, uh, angry when they lose? Yes. Yeah, me too. What's your favorite game series of all time? Game series of all time. Damn it. It's between Mass Effect and Kingdom Hearts. Mass Effect for me? Yeah, I think it was Mass Effect too. Wow, really? It's hard. I just because I, mean, I was surprised. I thought you'd say Kingdom Hearts. Well, for I, me, it's Mass Effect. One hundred percent, like well, without thinking, any delay. Well, I see. I was thinking Kingdom Hearts, but I, it's still so. The story is so confusing. Like at least I understand Mass Effect. Yeah, I say it, it, it. Honestly, it doesn't get that confusing up until two. That's why. But then all the other games come out because two Ooh, is they, simple. Uh, well, no, like all all, the they're all simple, but like with with re- added recoded with all the all. That's the, what I'm saying. Those are one just, and two is fine. Yeah. Then you add five other games and then it's when it's like jesus what is happening right now um uh what's better or sorry what's more important to you action or story 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 for me as well is there a game that is considered to be really bad but is your secret guilty pleasure you ever played a game where it's like everyone's like this is bad you're just like i really like it yeah what is it days gone yeah that's a good one yeah everybody says that it sucks but i'm like i love dude i love this game what was the game before Days Gone that said people didn't like, but we liked it? Do you remember? There was a game that was like, mm. people, and, and I played it, I was like, this isn't that bad. It's pretty fun. I know what you're talking about. I, I don't just, remember. I forgot. But there is a game I just yeah. blanking on right now. If I had to say one off the top of my head. I mean, people really don't like Game of Hearts, but I don't think that counts. It's not really a guilty pleasure. Um, oh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Mm. That's a good People one. People yeah. say that's a terrible game. Yeah, I'm in the camp yeah, where it's not that, that good, but it is not terrible. It is not, but it is by far the worst game ever. <laughs> by yeah. far. If you could marry any video game character, who would it be? They kind of asked us already. I thought you did that one. Yeah, right? it's it. They, I think they re-asked the same question. That's not fifty. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Whatever. We're gonna yeah, skip that one. We already did that because really I did Liara, and you, you, you're gonna stick with your wife probably. Yeah. If you could have any video game character as your best friend, who would it be? Nathan Drake. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Hey, close to Sora, because Sora, it's all about friendship. I was thinking Kratos, but I'm like, I don't need no, him killing no, me. No, no, <laughs> You don't want Kratos as your best friend. Boy, get over Even here. If, like, Die. What does that mean when you're Kratos' best friend? Does that mean anything to him? <laughs> like, he does, does he even have friends? <laughs> like, oh my God. Well, well, technically, no, they're all dead. Uh, I, they kind of asked us already, in your opinion, what is the worst game of all time that you've played? Would it be the Thor game? Yes. That I've For played, me, I think so. it would be between Thor and a game called Circle of Fire, which was a 360 game. It's terrible. Yeah. Terrible game. Um, would, would you give up video games for life and receive 500000 in cash? Or would you refuse the money? It, like just money? Because you said in you said it in life, but I didn't know if you meant like I'm would risking you, my life. I'm like, what? No, no, no. Would you give up video games for life? Oh, forever? Would you give up for playing a video grand. game for five hundred thousand dollars in cash? No, me either. No, I don't know why. I was I was, I was wondering. I was thinking you were gonna think longer. Five hundred thousand is not ain't enough. shit. No. <laughs> that, ain't <laughs> shit. <laughs> that ain't shit. One billion, probably. Yeah, no. If it was a billion to two billion, yeah, but uh, no, because mm-hmm. that's it's it's my I love it. Five hundred thousand, I, I can burn in my hand in no, three yeah. hours. Yeah, no. Uh, would you rather have loads of time to play games, but only be able to play two games a year, or be able to buy loads of games but never have uh, enough time to play them? A uh, bunch of games, never have time to play them. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what I do now. <laughs> I, I play feel so like many I do, games, but I have like so many. I have like such a specific time to I play. I feel them. like I do the uh, yeah. only play two games on accident because I have all these games, but I always like replay. Go Mass back Spectre to the old ones. Like yeah. <laughs> How many more questions you got? We're kind of making long. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the last. That's the last one. Went through well, 50, that was a good just about 50 questions. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. I loved that. 
you guys, uh, uh, you guys have any answers to those questions? You guys here, we said something. You're like, no, not that. Tweet at us. Yeah, that or Comment. if you could, if that or if you could re- remember any games you think we were talking about, like if you know that one game we thought that was like really bad, but we liked, you know, maybe yeah, it was another yeah, bad yeah, game. Yeah, Just like a little, give us a list, and we were like, yeah. oh, okay, it's that. Yeah, it's that one. All right, again, let's go over this podcast services every Friday and YouTube every Friday. You hit, you head over there, you watch the video, you give us the watch time. That helps us algorithmically. We like that. Go to our playlist. You hit play all. You just, you just let it play. You don't have to touch it. Just let it play. You can mute it. I don't care if you listen to it. Give us that watch time though. It really helps. Don't even gotta touch it. There you go. Uh, like everything, five star everything. If you're a freeloader, of course. If you want to support us, that keeps us doing this, keeps us good doing more podcasts for you. Support us over on Patreon.com/slash Easy Achievers. Uh, that is Patreon.com/slash Easy Achievers for all of the benefits we give out. Um, again, that supports us. That keeps us wanting to do this. Helps us out. Uh, and we need more tech for this thing. Uh, it's a lot of stuff we need to keep in track. And suddenly things are breaking around us. So we kind of need to buy extra stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. This is at EVM9000 on Twitter and at Crazy Flip Skater sitting from side of me on Instagram as well. Signing off. Oh, I thought of the game, by the way. What? Uh, Godzilla. Godzilla. On PS4. It, like, it's a horrible game. But yeah, I kind of enjoyed it just because I like the theme song yeah. and just playing as Godzilla. But it's horrible. Godzilla's game. Yeah, but it is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have a good one.